Now, this is a bit more my field. It's a V8 supercar, former V8 supercar, raced when new by Steve Ellery. Uh, I think I remember getting hit up the bum in Adelaide in the street race by this car at one stage. Started life as a AU and then it was converted These later now uh, become to a VA. A collectible, there's a great lot of them around Australia that were ex supercars being restored being used in track days and there is talk of a series for them in the future. Uh, I saw my Caterpillar car up at Bathurst last week so this is of the same era and if you're interested in that time when cars were real cars, they were built out of body shells that came down the production line at Ford, they were built by their individual teams, Steve Ellery's team built this car from a caged body shell which was done by Peter Behag in Queensland. The ones I drove for Caterpillar and drove for Brad Jones later on were the same sort of cars. They were actually based on proper production shells. So it's got all the gear, it's, you know, it's as it left the track essentially. So anybody that's into this sort of thing, it would make a good car. They did some good stuff with it. Steve was, was competitive. And later on it was handed down to, to Super 2 and Luke Yulden, who's a very good driver, he raced it and won some races in it, so it's got a good pedigree and a good history. Now this is of the period, a lot of the teams were doing, you know, different versions of the cold air box, that's what this is. There is an engine under there, it's a full race supercar style engine. But these were made out of carbon. They kept the heat off, off the intake system. This is a sort of a, each team had its own interpretation of air cleaners and, and air boxes. But this is pretty good. It's, it's, it's nice and big, lots of volume. Now by the, uh, the genius of editing, we can actually take all this. There's the, the intake system, carbon trumpets, most of the teams had their own version. I'm not sure whose engine this was. In this period, I was racing for Caterpillar, so we did our own engines. Um, Alan Draper did them. There was XDJR. I'm not sure who did Steve Ellery's. See, the injectors are quite high in the, in the uh, trumpet. Yeah, so pretty original, unrestored supercar for your enjoyment. So if you're interested in this era of V8 supercars, and a lot of people are, have a look at Gray's Classic Cars online. This is formerly raced by Steve Ellery, who was quite a well-known driver. So have a look. You could have some fun with this. So if you'd like to keep up with everything that's happening in our classic car and bike department, why don't you join our Facebook page, Gray's Classics Cars and Bikes. And also, if you'd like to keep up to date with the videos we do at Grays on classic cars and bikes, subscribe to our YouTube channel.